Hi, this is Gail. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be talking about tripods today, some of the photography equipment that I use. We're going to be talking about what I like, what I don't like, how they're used, and why. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be right back. This is the selfie stick tripod that I did a review on last week. I'm going to link it down below. I'm going to actually be using this tripod today with my cell phone to do this video so you're not going to see the tripod or my cell phone in the video for that reason. Now let's get started. We're all switched over here. Now I'm talking about this because there's not really a one size fits every purpose when you come to gear that you might want to use for vlogging or just taking good photos while you're out and about. This is the kind of tripod that most people will pick up for their beginning tripod. I ordered this off of Amazon from Limo Studio and although I like it, there are some limitations when it comes to doing vlogging and photography work. Now it's great because this can go from a tabletop model where you can just simply put it on a tra tabletop like that and of course you can expand it in just a matter of seconds. It's very sturdy and this can be raised up or down to help fit the situation. What it loses is portability. Now this is great for when you want to use a tripod and you know you're not going to be adjusting. It folds down to a relatively compact size. I'm going to say this is about 14, 15 inches high. And on this part, which is a tripod head, you can put a camcorder or a lightweight SLR. As long as you have a tripod that's got a universal mount, you can mount just about any camcorder, tripod, or smartphone mount right on the top of this tripod. The camera goes right on there. This type of tripod is sturdy and it helps with cameras. They're going to have some balancing issues such as an SLR with a very long lens. This might not be a problem if you're going to go fil film the front of a museum or the front of a landscape, but it doesn't give you the portability factor. Now, I like this tripod, okay? I use it, I like it, but I like to have something that I can toss in my purse and go. And that's where this pistol grip tripod comes in. Something I wanna point out is that these tripods are lightweight. They are ideal for camcorders or small SLRs like this lightweight Nikon D5500 with the 35 millimeter lens. They are not designed for the heavier SLRs or for a camera that's gonna have balance issues such as an SLR and telephoto lens. These tripods are not designed for smartphones. They're designed to fit a DSLR or a camcorder. I've got a trick at my sleeve as far as being able to use my smartphone on it. And that is selfie stick mounts. I picked the pink one up at Walmart and the black one, believe it or not, I took it off a selfie stick that I got from Dollar Tree. The black one doesn't open quite as far, but it fits my phone fine. Plus, I also have the advantage that if I do want to use a selfie stick, I can put the camcorder on it if I need to. And I can do that because the universal tripod mounts are interchangeable. Now let me show you a couple of tripods here that I like. We're talking about mini tripods. This is an Altura pistol grip tripod. This is what I'll use quite often if I'm out filming uh, in a nature scene. If I want to get down low or if I'm on a surface that's relatively flat like this table, then I'll use this pistol grip tripod. It is very versatile. You can take the legs and spread them out as a full tripod like we see here or you can fold the legs in the other way and that becomes a pistol grip tripod. You can use this with an SLR or camcorder or the selfie stick mount for your cell phone and using that pistol grip tripod will provide just a little bit extra stabilization for your videos. The pistol grip tripod shines 
by giving you the stabilization of a regular tripod, but the mount goes horizontal or vertical, or even a little past horizontal, and this gives you more options. The legs have a rubberized coating, which makes it easier for you to hold onto it, and the feet have rubberized grippers, so it's less likely to slip when you use it. Well, I liked this tripod so much that my husband surprised me for Christmas and he bought a second one. As with the other tripod mounts, you can still salvage the selfie stick mount, insert it on the mini tripod, and there you go. You can use your smartphone. Now, these tripods are nice because they fold small and they're sturdy enough that I can put a camcorder or a small SLR on the tripods. Another piece of equipment that my husband surprised me with is a bendy tripod. It already came with the cell phone holder and it's a great piece of equipment for that. You can also use this for a camcorder. Now with this, you can put a small SLR on it. I probably wouldn't use a telephoto lens, but again, this is a 35 millimeter lens. So it works on the bendy tripod. Without overbalancing it. Flexibility is why you buy a bendy tripod. You can flip out the legs and get really low, or you can wrap it around a tree branch or side mirror on your car. It has the jointed legs which also have a covering on them to protect the legs as well as the rubber grips on the bottom of the tripod. Let me demonstrate. Now I looked earlier and I did not find a large stick so I'm going to use the pistol grip tripod just to give you an idea. Work with me here. So you can just take this tripod and wrap this leg around just about any small branch. So these are the smaller tripods that I use. Coming up um, in a future video, we're going to talk about the larger, heavier tripod that I use. That's a Mi Photo. It's a travel tripod. I hope this video about the tripods that I use is helpful. Now don't forget to subscribe because you're going to want to get all of the latest. I've got some coming on the pros and cons of an SLR, the camcorder, lots of good stuff that relates to photographers and bloggers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go out, live bodaciously, and I will see you out about and online. Bye.